hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on kubernetes so this is the continuation of uh, kubernetes tutorial for beginners where we started with the uh, basics and controllers and all those kind of things and we have discussed about replicas uh, deployments and other controllers so this video is specifically going to talk about daemon set in kubernetes so daemon set is also a controller in kubernetes and let's talk about that so what daemon uh, set does it like it ensures that all the nodes in kubernetes cluster will have a copy of pod so um, uh, we'll see more about that okay what does it mean by like so what uh, it happens is like when a new nodes are added to the clusters the ports are also added to the node the same way like if you, some nodes are getting deleted from the cluster the pod on the uh, node will be put into garbage or it could del get deleted okay so uh, what uh, does means like in uh, daemon set in kubernetes what it will do is like uh, for example we have a daemon set okay and there are some nodes on the your uh, cluster of kubernetes so daemon set what it will make sure that every node will have one pod running so for example node one have one pod node two have another pod and if you add a new node uh, to the your kubernetes cluster what daemon set is does it automatically it will add up a another pod on that node as well okay so that's the structure of uh, daemon set now what are, why the daemon set is used or what are the use cases for daemon set so, so there are a few use cases uh, for daemon set so one of the use cases like you know if you want to run a cluster storage daemon uh, on every node so for running a cluster storage daemon you can use daemon set now another uh, scenario is like and the use case is like you want to have a a logs collection from all the nodes using a daemon so in that case also you can run a daemon uh, set for log collection in every node and another scenario or use case is like you want to have a monitoring setup for all the nodes using a daemon so in that case also you can use a daemon set okay so uh, let's get into more uh, in depth on this on the practical side we'll try to create uh, the yaml file for uh, daemon set so before that i would like to you know request you to kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so or you are new to this channel and also like this video share and comment so what we are going to do is i'm going to start this uh, process on a uh, kubernetes uh, mini cube so if you have not uh, seen you know how to set up mini cube you can uh, check on the you know uh, video tutorial i have shown how to set up mini cube okay so uh, this is a mini cube setup so let's uh, go through the manifest file or daemon set manifest file so uh, this is almost similar to what we have done it for deployment as well okay so if you see the api version is same as deployment and if you don't know how to check that you can go to your uh, kubernetes and you can type kubectl explain uh, daemon set you can see it will give you the complete details like uh, it's the kind daemon set and the api version as app slash v1 okay so that's what uh, we are using here in the manifest file and the metadata i'm going to give you like nginx daemon set and uh, it's almost same like the specs uh, we need to have a match, match labels and that should be uh, matching with the template where we are running the pod okay so i'm going to uh, use the same uh, key value pair app uh, nginx daemon set over here and i'm going to run a container for nginx now if you see the one of the main changes like we are not going to specific, specify any replica here because daemon set we don't have to uh, set any replica because you know by default it will run one pod on all node so that's the characteristics of daemon set okay so let's copy this okay and let's create uh, this file on this uh, a machine okay so i'm going to create daemon set your yaml okay and i'm going to insert this content and let's save this file okay and uh, in order to create the daemon set as normal like you apply or you can create kubectl or kubectl uh, apply hyphen f or create hyphen f and uh, you can run the daemon set.yaml okay so now you can see the daemon set is created so now let's see kubectl get ds which is for the daemon set you can also use uh, rather than ds you can also use uh, daemon set itself which is also the same okay so you'll get the output and if you see kubectl get ports 
you can see the port okay and if i use o white you can see in which node it is running now the challenge here with the mini cube is i have only just one node right so if i get nodes i have only just one node so i cannot show you like you know this is running on uh, it's create a single port on all nodes here it's just created one port on the main node okay because it's a mini cube uh, which is acting as a normal uh, worker and also the master right now in order to show you better like with the multi node setup i'm going to use the kubernetes uh, uh, play with kubernetes uh, thing okay so let's go to that and uh, i have already created a, a cluster here so you can see there is uh, two uh, three machines right and uh, three nodes and uh, if i go to kubectl get nodes you can see there are three nodes one is the master and you have a two worker node right so now i'm going to use the same uh, daemon uh, set over here okay dot yaml okay and i'm going to insert insert this uh, content over here okay if you don't know how to copy the content from your local machine to play with kubernetes uh, what you can do is you can use uh, control uh, insert uh, rather than you know control c because control c and control v does not work here so whatever you want to copy just use control insert and uh, come inside the play with uh, kubernetes and you do the uh, shift insert so shift insert will do the control v option okay so let's create a kubectl apply hyphen f daemon.yaml okay so now it says it's created so let's uh, go to kubectl get ds you can see sorry it's ds you can see it's uh, created and also you can see desire and uh, current is too ready is not yet done okay now it's ready as well too but if you see it's only two we have a three node right so let me clear out the screen if you see kubectl get nodes there are three nodes but you know we have uh, only two parts right kubectl get parts it's only two parts and where it's running it's running on the node 2 and 3 it's not running on the node 1 which is the master node so one of the main uh, queries or uh, questions which are asked by the daemon set uh, no scenario is like why daemon set is not running all nodes so a lot of people come up into this situation okay because now you see we see only two uh, nodes have a daemon set right and specifically this question is coming because daemon set is not running on the master so a lot of uh, people have this confusion why it is not running and how to make the daemon set running on master node so why this is not running is because recently with uh, changes in kubernetes they have brought uh, another uh, tolerance uh, parameter okay so if i go to this uh, yaml file i need to add some more content into it so i need to specifically specify inside this uh, uh, spec that i need to run uh, this one also in the master so for that you know i need to add this component like toleration and the key should be like it should run on the master as well so if you don't specify this uh, key a parameter and the effect no schedule uh, you will not be having any you know power running on the master okay so let me copy this content okay let me go to the play with kubernetes and uh, i have uh, uh, let me delete the current uh, daemon set okay get ds you can see so let me kubectl delete ds and this name okay so it should be control insert and shift insert okay so it will get deleted so kubectl get parts you can see it's terminating so let's wait for that to get done okay now it's all done now what I want to do is I'm going to delete the current daemon set okay so I'm going to use rm-f daemon set.yaml okay and I'm going to create a new one okay vi 
dimensor.yaml okay and i'm going to insert the content so it's going to insert the content but if you see there is additional toleration over here okay so let me save this so let me create the demon set with this so keep kato apply f and f demon set okay it should be apply hyphen f okay now we you see like it's created the demon set again so let's see okay ds this time if you see the desired state and current state is three right so if you see even the ready state is three so if i see get parts now we can see three parts running right and if i give o wide you can see you know uh, the three parts are running in all the nodes node one two and three so that's the reason if you do, don't see the daemon set running on your master it's because you are not used the toleration uh, parameter in your yaml file okay so if you want to run it on your master use this uh, configuration otherwise it will not run on your master now let's see i want to create uh, you know, another node okay so let me add another node over here okay so let me use this token to join to this uh, same cluster okay so let me use this now we can see it as i think it got added so let's see here okay so cube etl get nodes uh, you can see now it's four nodes right so you have four nodes so let me clear out this screen so kubectl get pods now do you see there is one more pod is getting created okay so why because uh, it's uh, we, we added a new node uh, so by default the daemon set uh, adds another pod into that uh, node so that's the benefit of this daemon set if how many nodes you are running it will automatically create one pod running on that so it's like a daemon so if you want to use that daemon for some purpose you can use it now if i delete one of the node for example i'm going to delete this node okay so if i come here and if i go and check uh, kubectl get nodes we have only three uh, now it's showing four but i think it should change to three soon because we just deleted one okay let's wait yep for some reason i think it's not reflected yet you can see it has changed a little bit it has changed not ready so i think it's uh, getting applied here okay so let's see okay let's see kubectl get pods yeah i think it's taking some time to reflect so but uh, basically what it does is like when you remove one node it will automatically remove the pod as well yeah you can see now the pod has been uh, changed to three okay so if i go and check uh, ctl get pods okay it's still running four let's see what it happens okay you can see now it is automatically removed or uh, there was four pods right now we have only three pods it's an order one two and four right because uh, if you we have seen like we have removed one of the node on the left right like uh, two four right so the three is gone so if you see kubectl get nodes we have only three nodes right so if you delete from here and if it's not getting deleted you just uh, delete it from here itself like kubectl delete node and you delete the node itself so you have seen like you know it depends completely on the node like if you delete the node it will automatically delete the pod as well or if you add a node it will automatically add up a pod as well so that is the benefit of daemon set and you, you see one of other changes like we don't have to specific specify any replica set here like 
you have need three replicas that will not work out here so you don't need to specify anything as a replica and if you use that in the manifest file it will not take it in the command okay so that is all i wanted to show for this tutorial on the controller for daemon set so i hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching kindly click on the subscribe button to my channel like this video share and comment